don't ask about what are we going to do if you don't get a bonus get the damn 26 million dollars spend your time and your effort thinking about the 26 million dollars we need and not thinking about what are you going to do if we don't get a bonus we're about to watch a video that shows the type of people that normal people like you and me have to work under just to live and survive day by day just to make it to the next month, right? Just to make it to the next week, just to make it to tomorrow, many of us, and I know I have in the past, have had to deal with managers, bosses, colleagues, CEOs, just like this. I'm gonna share a video with y'all. I'm gonna go over a video with y'all. And the main reason I want to go over this video is that this video shows exactly why I work in tech. To have the ability to quit whenever you want, to be to make enough money to to so if you're not happy, save enough money, take a few months off. Don't like the company, go to the next one because I personally experienced this. Great question, Chris. And you know, a lot of questions came through about how can we stay motivated if we're not gonna get a bonus? What can we do? What can we do? Some of them were nice and some of them were not so nice. So I'm gonna address this head on. The most important thing we can do right now is focus on the things that we can control. None of us could have predicted COVID. None of us could have predicted supply chain. None of us could have predicted bank failures. But what we can do is stay in front of our customers, provide the best customer service we can, get our orders out our door, treat each other well, be kind, be respectful. Okay, so she's saying good things right now. I, there's nothing, I have nothing against what she's talking about. She's clearly saying, okay, we need to focus on what we can't control. Right now, we can't give everyone bonuses. Hey, it happens in Amazon. No one's getting bonuses right now. No one's getting a pay increase unless you're a new hire, right? Moving from another company to Amazon, you name it. So she's being really nice right now, but let's let's just continue. She doesn't remain like this. Focus on the future because it will be bright. It's not good to be in a situation we're in today, but we're not gonna be here forever. It is going to get better, so lead. So she, again, is trying to encourage them, telling her, her company, her employees, that things will continue to get better. Okay, but I do have a question though. She's talking about how people won't receive their bonuses. Does that mean she won't receive her bonus as well? I don't think so. She is the CEO of Herman Miller. Obviously, she will receive her bonus, and that might be one of the reasons why she looks so stressed out, because if the company doesn't perform the way that she wants them to perform, she won't get a bonus. So let's see. Lead by example, treat people well, talk to them, be kind, and get after it. Don't ask about, what are we gonna do if you don't get a bonus? Get the damn $26 million. <sighs> So many memories are coming back right now. But this is how it starts when working under a toxic manager, company, you name it. You're doing interviews, you're doing the technical interviews, you name it, everyone's being really nice to you. Your manager's being very nice to you, saying, I got your back, I'm here for you. Being really nice, saying all these sweet words. And then out of nowhere, like a snake, like a snake, right? Like a snake, they attack you. Stop asking about your damn bonus. Focus on the things that matter. But unlike the CEO who makes millions of dollars per year, regular employees like us, we some of us depend on that bonus to help with something that we need. Maybe we're going through some troubles right now and we're looking forward to that bonus to help us overcome the situation and I being loyal and staying at this company and working my butt off at this company so that I can Get that bonus. And if it's not there, employees are asking, how, what can we use to motivate us? What incentives can we look forward to to work harder than you're expecting us to work and not just work and give the bare minimum? And her response is, don't worry about the damn bonus. That's not a way that you motivate your employees, okay? But it seems like this boss, this CEO, is literally just laying her frustrations on employees. Let's continue. Spend your time and your effort thinking about the $26 million we need and not thinking about what you're gonna do if we don't get a bonus. So think about how much money you can make me, not about whether or not you'll get more money or not. Because if I don't get that $26 million, which is the, I guess the OKRs, I don't get a bonus. I, the CEO doesn't get a bonus. This is why I work in tech. We have all worked under a manager, a boss, whatever, that treated us like crap. But then when we're treated like crap, when, because we don't have many opportunities out there, we're stuck like dogs being treated like crap. I remember when I was working at LAX, Los Angeles International Airport. I was one of those guys that pushes those blue bins around the airport, delivering magazines to all the stores. When I was treated like crap, 
I couldn't do anything about it. When I worked at AVX Audio Visual, the company I worked at before becoming a web developer in my first job in 2016, they threatened to fire me. So I learned coding and got a new job a couple months later. But this is why I'm in tech. Yo, when I worked at this startup, before everybody, I was at another startup for two months. I left after two months, why? My manager, and I made a video on this manager, at that company, treated me like crap. We're paying you $180,000 a year. You need to make sure that we, we need to make sure that we work you to death to make that worth it. Told them I need to take, I, I, I'm gonna be traveling a lot. I'll be speaking at all these conferences. I wanna take at least one week off per quarter. What did the manager say? I'll never let you do that. So I took that for two months, for two months. Yeah, make 180K a year, whatever. Quit that job. After two months, join Airbyte, making $200,000 a year. But I'm able to do that now because I work in tech. I'm able to do that now because I have technical skills. I have speaking skills. I have the ability to create content, go to conferences, meet people, give talks, you name it. But not a lot of people have that ability. And people who are listening to the CEO right now, it frustrates me right now. How many of them are engineers? Very few. Herman Miller, it's a chair company, a furniture company. Not that many engineers that work there. Probably only those engineers have many options to go to another company. How many people who work under this company, Herman Miller, are able to just leave because they're being mistreated? They can't. And it frustrates me. That's why I'm so glad I work in tech. I'm so glad that I work in tech because if I ever face this again, I leave. If, if I feel like I'm being treated like crap, if I don't feel valued, I leave. Because my happiness, my mental health comes first because prior to tech, I had no choice. I had to take whatever crap my manager or boss was giving me. I had no choice, I was stuck. And so I'm very fortunate that I never have to go through that again. Well, let's finish the video and let's just look at what happens next, okay? All right. All right. Can I get some commitment for that? I would appreciate that. Doesn't that sound condescending? Again, that's what I went through. The name of the company I was working at is the API company, that's all I'll say. But that's so condescending, all right? When you say that term, when you're in an argument, all right, you say that to the person you're speaking to to assert your authority over them, right? And of course, she has more authority. This is the CEO. I had an old boss who said to me one time, you can visit Pity City, but you can't live there. So people, leave Pity City. Let's get it done. It's sad. Now, I understand. I'm all in for don't, like, stop complaining and get the work done in your life. But you're, you're, you join this company, you left your other company to join this company to help them. And, and, and this CEO has zero sympathy for her employees. Leave Pity City. Stop pinning yourself. Stop complaining. I don't want to hear these questions, these Q&A questions on all hands. Thank you. Have a great Have a day. Great day. Have a great day. How? After hearing that from your CEO. Look at this. Look at this part. Oh my God. And it's kind of like a mic drop. It is so condescending and this just brings back so many bad memories. I had to go over this video because I, I just want to, I want to be able to remind y'all like, yes, there are layoffs in tech right now. People losing their jobs everywhere. This is not going to last forever. But again, that's why I work in tech because I know I am not the only person to have ever have gone through this. I want to make sure that y'all don't have to deal with this ever again. And if you do, you have the opportunity to not be stuck, to not feel stuck, believe.